My name is Mark Handelman. I'm an artist working in, uh, in New York. My, my practice is primarily invested in painting, although more recently I've been expanding into other kinds of media, for example, book arts or the things that are sort of in between media, for example, in the space between uh, cinema and painting. American landscape painting from the 19th century has sort of formed the kind of ideological and conceptual and sort of political lens through which I look at different iterations of contemporary landscape. Unlike traditional landscape painters who have, you know, gone to the actual sites within nature to sort of draw on their work and make paintings from, I always sort of look towards things that are already sort of mediated in terms of understanding how we, we represent landscape today. So I, I'm, I'm never really interested in sort of trying to show an authentic picture of, of, a, of a space or a location or a sense of place or an actual topography. Archive for a Mountain is an artist book I made a couple years ago, and it came about in a way from a sort of a failure, I suppose you could say, a failure of trying to sort of make a, a more traditional landscape painting. And I was fascinated with this particular um, subject, was the, which, which is the Untersberg Mountain, which sort of is a natural border dividing Austria from Germany. And historically, it had been this incredibly loaded sort of object of landscape, politically and religiously and ideologically. Uh, this was a mountain that fascinated Hitler and it um, uh, Wagner was also invested in it, and there was a, there's all this medieval propaganda attached to it. And, and in a way, I had tried to make a painting for, for, I don't know, maybe eight years of this of this particular mountain, trying again and again in sort of different formats. At a certain point, I realized that sort of all the contradictions of the subject were were too much just to think about in terms of a picture or one object. I, I realized that, that in a way that the research itself could be a piece, and then it was a question of how to, how to present it. The Archive for a Mountain book was developed simultaneously with this painting project of a series of of large-scale paintings that were all of dimension stone, which is very similar to, to the piece that's here at the Rubin. The concept for this piece came about by really just looking closely at what was going to be in the exhibition. H.A. Gade's painting called Civilization really, really struck me. This particular piece seemed to speak to a subject of, of the ruins of civilization. In, in my own work, the notion of, of the civilization and ruins um, as a theme within landscape I've been fascinated by for a long, long time. The question for me at a certain point was how do I sort of respond to this piece? And in a way, I chose something that I've never done before in my work, except maybe only metaphorically, which was to sort of situate the space of painting as a kind of background. As a, and, and in this case, it becomes a literal background, which Gade's painting then hangs in front of. My painting itself is a particular kind of stone, dimension stone, I think it's Paloda pink marble, from this region of, of uh, Rajasthan, which is one of the, the largest dimension stone industries in India. To my mind, this particular kind of stone with these oranges and, and burgundies, in a way I feel like it, it has a strange kind of orientalist affect to it. And, and, and I was sort of interested in the kind of luxury status or the kind of exotic status that it, it seemed to sort of speak to. So my painting really sort of takes a back seat as much as it sort of contextualizes and sort of envelops that picture. It's not at all a collaboration per se, but I was very interested in there being a, a different kind of contingency. So it's not just a, a response, but I wanted them to be sort of dependent on each other, or unable to not be seen in the, in the context of each other.